popping up like the pollen counts. Which I feel like you can smell, by the way, the <laughs> pollen out there. It is there. It is absolutely there. I don't see it yet. Oh, yeah, but it's there. Oh, oh, have it's you seen it? Blown around by all yeah. this wind. You saw it? <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I seen some deposit seen in my some? car. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. It's happening in the south anyway right now. Well, the wind is helping to distribute mm -hmm. that pollen, and there's so much wind all over the entire country. We've got wind advisories, high wind warnings, and wind watches. I mean, look at the nation covered in it. Yeah, yeah March, uh, late February, early March, great time to have a wind advisory out over the country because you get these big weather systems, contrasting air masses. Yeah. It all fits into that windy sort of theme. And it's bringing in some big temperature changes today. Yeah. Ooh, this is significant. This, yeah. is, this is one where you, yeah. the good news is it's, it's in and out, but when it hits, Oh, you're gonna you're feel gonna it. feel it. Mm -hmm. You are going to feel it. We're gonna be losing about 60 degrees <laughs> in temperatures. I know. In about a 36-hour yeah. period in lots of cities in the middle of the country. Yeah. You lose 60 degrees, and the timing of it here, I think that's what we're more confident on is when it's gonna happen. So it's not the showers today. Right. It's more the overnight, and that's right. what I want to focus in on when we look at some city-specific forecasts. You're getting into the timing of what you can expect. First of all, we do have a three on the tour con. Chicago, you're in it. Indianapolis, Louisville, into western parts of Ohio. We've got a three on the tour con today with the two surrounding it. So let's jump into Chicago. Two in Waukegan, Joliet, Naperville. We've got a three on the tour con. And as Greg talked about, I mean, there's sort of a lot of conditional things in the atmosphere that we're watching for overnight tonight. So you just need to be ready. Make sure you have a way to get woken up. If storms threaten, make sure you know where you'll go. The is less than a quarter of a mile. And that hangs on for three hours or more. We may be able to call it a blizzard. We will see. Um, let's go to some of the snowfall that's already happened. We've been tallying it up here across the Wasatch in Utah. Snowbird coming in with over seven inches. Sunday has picked up a new six inch uh, amount. We've got Brighton Crest coming in with 13 inches, more than a foot. So a powder day here for you. If you can get out there, the wind has still been a factor out there throughout a lot of the region. Winter storm warnings in place across the northern Wasatch. Winter weather advisories to the south. A lot of winter storm warning. Roller coaster. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to do the drop on the roller coaster. You just want to keep I don't want to do anything forever climbing. I mean, yeah, right. That's true. It's too hot, all right? Right. <laughs> well, you can go to Thread, send us your comments. Also, share your pics and video with us using the hashtag YesTV. All right, well, and bottoming out at like 50. So, there's bounds. If to only this. we could do that. Right. If we could set that limits. Well, you can make your choice of what you Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't <laughs> actually <laughs> say. Trouble separating the two from the actual <laughs> roller coaster and the roller coaster of temperatures. Yeah. Oh, my goodness.